Um, and Adriana, if you want to welcome the rest of your team and introduce us to the rest of your team that's here with us. Sure. Here we have Scott Stevenson, the film editor. <laughs> and Kirsten Johnson, DOP. <laughs> and mentor. What a beautiful audience. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, first of all, I just want to thank you so much for being here at Doc NYC with us. Um, we're so pleased to be able to present this film with its North American premiere. Um, I, I'd love to just have you guys start off by talking a little bit about uh, how this project began and how you got connected with Elliot. Well, I think you got an idea from the film. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but uh, really, that's how it began. There's no other secret. Uh, there was a conversation. Uh, and I spoke to Elliot about doing a little book with the pictures I've taken with over some years of traveling together. And he came up with the idea of making a film. Sounded kind of crazy, but here we are. <laughs> yeah, and and I, you see throughout the film that Elliot is pretty hesitant to really uh, share a lot of his insight about who he is as a photographer and philosophizing. Uh, what what kind of methods did you take to try and get him to open up that you didn't we didn't see on screen? Oof. <laughs> All the methods you can possibly imagine, <laughs> making food. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, really, it's like you have to be resourceful, <laughs> you know, so I did my best. I don't know, I cannot tell you all the secrets. There's like a handful of, of tools, <laughs> magic tools, <laughs> and as you can see, most of them don't work, <laughs> but uh, we get something out of it. <laughs> uh, and, and for the rest of the team, I'm curious if you guys felt any pressure uh, as you're documenting a photographer um, to make sure that the images that you're creating are reflective of uh, what he has created as a photographer? Well, obviously, an absolutely impossible challenge. And, you know, when you are working with someone who is so great as Elliot, uh, you've already, I, 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 I like, you're, you failed before you've begun. <laughs> There's literally no way. Um, I think the only moment where I felt like, yes, was when, um, Canelli was howling at the <laughs> sirens, and I was like, finally something worthy of Elliot, you know? Um, but I think the, the pleasure of it was knowing that the film would accumulate yeah. in the way the story accumulates, um, you know, little by little, like just having trust in the way that Elliot does in photograph after photograph after photograph, something will emerge, which is where it gets handed off to you. <laughs> Uh, and, you know, the film really is a time capsule, um, just as his photographs are. Um, how did you guys decide what was important to include and, and what to omit? Uh, editor? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a, it was just such an interesting, I don't know if, is this on? Can you hear me all right? Uh, it's just an, such an interesting challenge between him not wanting to speak. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Get Kirsten in there. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm not self-conscious at all now <laughs> um, about uh, what he was willing to share and not share, and what was there photographically, and what uh, Adriana was able to film. Uh, there was such a rich uh, amount of material and such an interesting thing to play with between what is said and shared and what is not shared, and how close can we get and not get. But uh, what was really hard is there's such an incredible accumulation of just unbelievably wonderful photos and you just want to get them all in there any way you can. And uh, Adriana had a lot and we found ways to get in quite a bit more and, uh, um, and just have fun with that and try to find the right balance. And uh, now, now that the film is screened, um, did Elliot have a lot of thoughts um, about how the edit was going to turn out? Did you let him have any say? Um, has what, it, what are his thoughts on the film now? His thoughts on the film now, and well, it would be up to him to share. He just uh, went away for a little bit. Um, well, basically what Elliot said when I showed him the final cut, said, I said, did you like it? <laughs> and he said, how could I not like it? I'm flattered. <laughs> <laughs> so... As you can see, he's, you know, you saw in the film, not many words, but the ones that are chosen are pretty clear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
so no, he was not involved in the in the in the process of the editing. It was something that we kept it secret <laughs> and came up to him with with the with the final cut already. I'd love to open it up to the audience. We'd love to hear from you guys. Um, please don't feel f don't feel shy. Uh, do you have any questions? Yes. <laughs> I don't know if that's on like the editing room floor because he was like, oh, the dog likes me. He's like, this is his car. The question is, uh, did he steal the dog? <laughs> Not at all. It was an agreement with uh, with his owner, Bruno, and the way it generously, you know, gave Canelo a, a, a new adventurous life in New York City. <laughs> it was an, an adoption. <laughs> Other questions from the audience? Yes. How long did you spend with uh, How much time did you spend filming the project? Thanks for the translation. <laughs> 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 two years, two years filming. Yes, yeah, so we started in, in Cuba in July 2015, and we ended in November 2017. Yes. Thank you. Uh, was there a conscious decision to not include the rest of the family? Yes, absolutely. It's 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 a large family, and it will be a four-hour-long film, and that will be too challenging. <laughs> yes. Uh, has the rest of the family uh, seen the film, or uh, did you interact with them throughout the process um, to help inform your narrative? Um, not necessarily to inform the narrative, but uh, yes, the family were around, and we have here uh, his daughter, Jennifer, and, and, and um, Drake, her husband. And yes, they've been, you know, they've been around and they, they're, you know, and so basically in January when I came here to show him the final cut before the, we finalized all the post-production, um, we did a little screening in his living room and there were three of his kids and one of his grandchild and it was a family, a family screening and got the approval. <laughs> so that was a great relief, <laughs> yes. Uh, other questions from the audience? Yes. Thank you, Shaul. It took a long time, or, and I know, it's, I know how hard these things are, but are you going to miss it? Because the film made you, made you always talk to, oh yeah, are you going to miss the process? Or are you happy? Um, are you going to miss the process of making the film? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> I'm very happy it's done. It yeah. felt like a, <laughs> it was a very long labor. <laughs> She's done. <laughs> um, it seems we have a, another very special, special guest, guest joining us. <laughs> Let's give him a round of applause as he makes his way up here. <laughs> and, and it must be documented, of course. It must be documented. He's getting closer. <laughs> I can, I can okay. give him a hand, whichever way you want to drive it up here. Take it away. Take it away. Take it away. I'm just going to. We got you. We're going to take the card. We're going to take, gonna take gonna the card away. We're going to hold you. We got, I got you. You got it. Yeah. Are you ready to let go? Yeah, let go of the card. Thank you for joining. For my next number.
Elliot, thank you so much for joining us up here on stage. Uh, we, you know, we've been chatting up here it, with your in your absence, um, but we're we're so happy to have you here joining us. Um, it works. For my next number. <laughs> Am I supposed to answer someone? <laughs> <laughs> well, now we'll, we'll keep going with our audience questions. Um, and now we have uh, one more person that you can ask a question to. Um, do we have any other questions in the audience? Someone has a question? Yes, right here. Well, I can tell you where the bathroom is. <laughs> <laughs> When you're taking photos, do you feel like you're seeing in black and white? I can hear you. Do you feel like you're seeing in black and white before you take it in? Do I see in black and white? Do you see in black and white when you're taking a photograph? No, I see more. I prefer black and white, but I, but I guess I see a whole scene. I suppose so, but I'm not sure. Uh, That's not a very good answer, but I, I don't think I could do a better one. An honest, an honest. Mm -hmm. Elliot, I was talking to Adriana about this before you arrived, but I, I'm curious how it felt for you um, having the camera turned around on you. Uh, did you feel uncomfortable being on screen, or did you fall right into it and feel sort of natural? bit muffled. Are you ask me whether... It was comfortable or uncomfortable to be in front of the camera film, during film? How did you feel? Well, I didn't spend much time worrying about it. Um. <laughs> it, it was not... Uh, no, no. When you have something to do, and then you do it, and it's, there's no... Impediment. So, black and white, color, horizontal, vertical, it's all the same. Other questions? Yes. So, you, you photographed uh, Cuba's people and Cuban leaders near the beginning of the Cuban Revolution and went back, arguably, what many people would say is the end of the Cuban Revolution. Did you say, sense a, a change in the feeling of the people there? Uh, less optimism, more pessimism, or did you think the essential character of the people was the same? Uh, the question is, uh, did you feel a change uh, in the times that you um, were in Cuba initially and when you returned? I didn't spend that much there to, to claim to have done something special. I just took some pictures of what, what was in front of me for the period that I was allowed to be there. And, uh, and that's it. Other questions from the audience? Yes, in the back. Um, I, I can't hear you. Maybe that's just as well. Uh, I, <laughs> don't, don't worry, I'll, I'll repeat it back for you. Beauty Knows No Pain is a movie that I made in Texas with the uh, Rangerettes, a, a group that performs at, uh, at football games and special locations. Is that, was that the question? Not really, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, what? It was a personal project financed by, by myself and uh, in, in the 80s, in the early 80s, I made films mostly for home box office. I made 18 films in, in four years. And uh, Beauty Knows No Pain was one of the films I made on the back of the others. Other questions? Yes. Yep. I, I, I cannot hear you. Maybe I'm going deaf or something. But <laughs> For the picture you took of Jackie Kennedy. The photo you took of Jackie Kennedy at the death of her husband. Do you remember why you chose the shot that you did to develop? Uh, do you remember why you chose the shot you did to develop of the photos of Jackie Kennedy? Why I took it? Uh, why, why you chose that one to develop? Why that photo of all the, one, yeah, of all the ones that you took uh, did you choose to print? You're talking about the picture of Jackie Kennedy? Yeah. Yes. It was not a matter of choice. It was a matter of what was possible to do. Uh, she was certainly... It was certainly a, a structured uh, funeral, and on, at these kinds of occasions, you, you're not allowed to move around much. You have fixed positions, and whatever you can make out of them is what you can do, which is not much. All right, we have time for one more question. Yes. Um, I think the, what's really cool about the movie is the magic that's between the two of you and how easy she is with you, you know, throughout, wherever you are. Adriana is so easy and light with you. And it feels to me like you both fell in love in this movie. This feels like a love story to me. Hmm. Is it for you? <laughs> do you do you guys see the film as a Is love story between the two of you? <laughs> I don't know what to say, so I won't say anything. <laughs> I definitely fell in love. <laughs> Dogs are easier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I want to thank you all so much for being here. <laughs> thank you guys all so much for sticking around. Please enjoy the rest of your time at Doc NYC.